Here she is. Good morning. Good morning, Julie. How are you? Good. We're hiking today. We're going to hike up in these mountains right there and find a mine. But we have to go around this way to make it easier for ourselves. So let's go hiking. Should be a great day. It's a little overcast. Probably be about 85 though, a little warm. But that's the way it is. Pretty rugged terrain. Nothing Julie can't handle though. Well, we've made it down to the canyon and we're going to go up. It's a pretty big wash coming out of here. It's a big canyon. We're going to go up this way and then take a left out of it and then up to the mine. We found a can dump. Always a good sign when you're mine exploring. It means there was a camp around here. There's some tobacco tins. More stuff. Milk cans, bean cans. Shoe. Piece of a shoe, yeah, a heel of a shoe, that's pretty common. There's some pottery, a little crock pot. There are nine tobacco tins all in a row here. And then Julie found a cool can. It's got an opening tab like you would use with a key. There. But they opened it with a knife. Mm, so. anyway, kind of neat little, um, the key is not there. What a view again. One thing about mine exploring, we get into some places that have some awesome views. These are very rugged mountains. This is looking the other direction from the last shot I just took. A little hazy today, but you can see over into Nevada, that's uh, Mount Charleston with the snow on it. Over that way, if you can see that. Here's a screen, maybe used as a classifier of some sort. Here it looks like an old cabin. Oh, it's an old trailer. That's what it is. Maybe an old uh, camp trailer. Wow, wooden spoke, wooden spoke trailer turned into a camp trailer. Look at that spoked wheel. You don't see that all the time, do you? A lot of barrels down in the wash below it. It's kind of windy today, so you're going to get some wind noise. So you can see this was made into a camp trailer with these um, uh, curved uh, rafters, I guess it would be, or roof supports. Look at the cute little cupola for the heater vent. It's all homemade stuff, it's all welded. This is the front corner uh, pieces that are made out of steel. And all this, all the roof has collapsed, obviously. It looks like all these brackets were homemade too to, to make that roof. Unless this was a really old factory job. All on a trailer that's about, let's see here, probably only six by six by 15 roughly. Oh, what's it say on there? 
top part was probably an atomizer and maybe it's a little perfume bottle. There's the new hard shell auto polish. They got a brand on it. Johnson. With sun stop. <laughs> With sun stop. <laughs> I'm almost certain that this is an old ice chest. Not a refrigerator, but a nice chest. And the, the ice would have been down below there. This might even be the top of it over here. I'm guessing. This probably went up here somehow. What's that? I don't know. A piece of wood. I don't know. Two by two. Oh. This is a whistle. Oh, that's a train whistle. Ah. Look at that. That's sitting under there. It's clean as a whistle, but look how clean it is down there. What is a whistle? <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> Do I dare blow it? Go for it. I mean, how dirty can it be? <laughs> Gross. <laughs> That's pretty cool, though. Seeing some old guy sitting out here whittling this thing away. <laughs> I lived out in the middle of nowhere in this contraption. <laughs> That's neat, though. Cool. You don't find those every day. No. All right, let's go over the mine. That looks like an old skip bucket. Homemade, of course. Here's a... This looks familiar, but I can't remember what it is. One of you guys will tell me. Then there's this thing. This looks like a rotating display rack for for something that you'd see in a store. I don't think it's specific to mining. Huh. Something like a merchandise or something would sit in here. Here's another barrel over here. What's that say? Ream. There you have it. Let's go find the mine. This looks like all pay dirt piled here. It's not been processed. Several uh, loads of it right here. Right in front of that old trailer. Otherwise it would be on the waste pile. In the mine dump. What a view! We're on a kind of a treacherous old road if you were driving on it. Obviously hasn't been driven on for some time. You definitely wouldn't want to go over the edge here though. I see a barrel way down there. Yeah. Alright, we should be getting close to the mine if it's here. Not even sure if it's really here or not. Here's some stuff. There's an opening here. Oh wow. Look at that. Look at that old door. There's a gas tank from a vehicle in there. Look at the little rail going in there. I'm following this trail past that portal I just saw just to see what's down here. Wow. That's an interesting looking deal. 
it must have been a shoot. This must have been an ore shoot. Oh yeah, and then down there, there's another, it looks like a, an ore handling facility. This is following back along the, the trail that led to the chute. Uh, apparently they didn't haul the ore down the road that we came up. They sent it down that chute. Looks like there was probably a cabin or something. There's a lot of debris down there. Wood. You thought it was a head frame. There's a piece of full-sized rail. Imagine hauling that up here. And then this is all waste pile down here to my right. Among other stuff. All right, let's go in the uh, let's go in the mines. See what we have. It looks kind of exciting. Right off, I love the door. It's still in good shape. It's made out of two by sixes and two by twelves. Some big flat hinges. And notice that this rock is standing on its end here. And another interesting looking mineral vein over that way. There's a little tin cover for something. Oh, it's cool in here. I know, it feels really good. <laughs> yeah, it's hot out today. This is that kind of fractured rock. The track is still all here so far. And still very usable. It's in good shape. They did a nice job of it. They're obviously following something the way it's curving around. Once again, it's this pastel colors up here. The mineral vein. Jeff Williams told me what that was, but now I can't remember. Yeah, he's too smart for me with all the geology knowledge. Anyway, hey Jeff, hope you guys are doing well today. Hi hey Jeff. Okay, here we have a uh, piece of rubber hose. Looks like airline or waterline, one or the other. Looks like a little equipment storage area. Look at the old light bulb. Oh. <laughs> a little bit, I guess. I can't see anything. RP. A? M? RPM. RPM. Should we go down here? Sure. Look at that box of or bucket of nails. Wow. There's some uh, ventilation pipe and some other stuff. So here's a V-belt pulley. There's part of a headlight assembly. This looks like a, a pulley for a flat belt. Uh, yeah. There's a mason jar and a big crock pot. Let's go down here and see what's down here. It looks like a piece of drive belt off of something, not super wide. There's the connector. And here. Huh. 
we'll have to go look at that after a little while if we don't want to do it right now. Here's a box. Phillips furring nails. Maybe for making their ladders. Yeah, we'll have to go up there later. Uh, that's too inviting to skip, but let's go visit the main level first. How's that sound? Do you think that croc has any writing on the bottom of it? What's that say? Number two, Pacific? Yeah. Cool. Okay. Yeah. That U hose looks familiar too, or that U pipe. Uh, I can't remember what that's for. Anyway, let's carry on. That was interesting. More stuff. Old something paint. Some parts of parts of some dynamite boxes. Let me pick one of those up. Nothing on there. What about this one? It's got something on it. Powder company. And some paints. Some old cross ties and some paint cans. This is probably looking up to that spot where that other ladder went up. I'm sure we'll be up there before the day is over. I think this is a gold mine. It's there's a lot of stuff around here. There are talc mines, there are silver mines, there are other gold mines, but this red, the mine nearby that I've been in here, there was a gold mine had the same red, red, uh, do we just bonked her head, but she's okay. So here's some lagging. Not real heavy duty, just one by stuff. Here's where Julie bonked her head. Anyway, yeah, uh, it's red. Wow, look at this wall. Oh, cool. Isn't that crazy? Oh, yeah. this. That's that calcite, isn't it? Look at that. This is so crazy. I'll say, look at the oh, geology. Me. Sheesh. And we come to a big chute. That's got to be coming down from up above there. Look at thing holding that up. Oh There's a lot of stuff in here too. This looks all just haphazardly chucked in here for some reason. If you come in here, watch out for nails. Yep. It doesn't go very far. Will you, will you grab that little box that I just went by? But look at the look at the mineral vein in here. It's crazy. I'm glad we made the trip up the hill. This is cool. Wow, look at that. I don't believe I've ever seen anything quite like that. What is that? I don't know. It say. Isn't it got some red on it? It's got a red stripe. Oh, I thought it was a label. Look at this. this is a hand soldered or brazed box. Take a little closer look at this chute. Yeah, that 
that's all jammed up. There's some burlap sacks that they've used for something. Hmm. So yeah, this is a pretty wild vein. And this calcite stuff too is kind of strange. But look at the the uh, layers of this. It's very loose. Wow, thousands of layers. All right, let's backtrack to that uh, ladder and see what's up there. All right, Julie's going to be the first one to brave the ladder. Hang on tight. A little dusty? What do you see? Well, this thing's hanging out by a stool. But oh, it yeah. seems like it works. Want me to come up? Hold on, let me go further. Okay, this is just on top of that little ladder. Crawling around, it's really low. Of course. Goes up that way, a little bit that way, a couple of stalls. I guess we're gonna make our way up there. So I just came from down there, crawled up here. Comes to an intersection, just goes a little ways there, and then ends, and then goes this way. So I'm gonna crawl up here and see what's anything up there. Okay, so I'm up on top of that other <coughs> little area that ends right there. And then this goes up, I don't know if you can see some stalls way over there. And I'm gonna have to crawl up there, but it might come get Tom. All right, Tom's coming up to follow me. And it goes left. Okay, we just came up from that way. Now we're going this way, Julia's anyway. I believe we're crawling around in a stope. Looks like it opens up maybe after where she is right there. What do you see? Um, I see some wood, a little gobbing wall. Tom. Where are you taking me? <laughs> We're twisting and turning through this whole little mountain, big mountain. I got my shorts on today because it's so hot out. You, you got to put your knee pads on. That's where we just came from. We went, uh, I believe it might be an ore chute or an ore pass. And we're up to maybe another level here. And here are three MJB cans that don't look terribly old, but there's a bottle there. A full intact bottle. Careful with the name of it. Get the Get the top off. Move your thumb. 
What's it say? Old Sunnybrook, Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Wow. In Louisville, Kentucky. That's cool. One pint. A pint of booze. Cool. Wow, cool. Let me get a picture of that. Okay. Alrighty, there are those cans in that whiskey bottle. That was pretty cool. Let's go this way. I see a bridge or something. A little bit of a muck sheet here. And a stope up above us. A couple stalls. I see a bridge. There was that chute down below. Maybe that's what this was. Look at the vein up there. Uh, I don't know where that ladder was. We didn't see that down below, did we? I believe this is where this. Oh. I was going to say that's the shoe we found down below, but it doesn't look like it. Oh. Well, if that's not a crazy looking shoe, huh? Oh man, that's all kinds of stuff going on. I don't believe that's a ventilation. I think that's a round shoe that they were using. Yeah. Could be wrong though. Yeah. But is there another level up higher here? Mm -hmm. How did they get up there? I wonder where this goes because you'd think it would come into that chute where that where we were at the end of the lower drift but how do they get up above us to work there aren't any ladders going up yeah what's over this way okay let's go over that way watch you This is very light duty uh, lagging here. It's only one by stuff. Can you get up that way? You can go up this way. What's straight ahead of you? Just a, just um, a little bit of stoked out area. You probably want to go this way. Okay. Watch your head there. Just a big stope up here where they've cleaned out a big area. Big stope that they cleaned out. Big area. Look at this old stuff here. Old lagging. Yep, that's the end of the line. So it ends shortly up there. Doesn't go much farther. Here's a Prince Albert can. Oh, you found another Prince Albert can. Oh. <laughs> what a shot. Went right to me. Heads up, there might be some rocks coming down. Okay, let me, hold on, let me get out of the way. Well, I'm up here as high as I can figure out how to get. I'm in the stope. This round shoot keeps going but I don't know how they got any higher than this unless it's from the outside I'm in this stope I just sent that Prince Albert can down to Julie to look at since I was in the middle of this climb when I found it right in this slope here and they've just cleaned this out there's your mineral vein it's some crazy, not very strong lagging that's holding all this stuff back. 
Julie's still down here. Unless this goes over this way. It's possible it goes over this way. Let me go over there and look. Okay, I've just come from that way. I'm up in the stope. It goes this way always. And it goes that way. And you can see the mineral vein up here. And it goes behind me. There's, I believe, the beginning of that round chute. Let's go make sure. Yep, here's the beginning of that chute. Can you hear me down there? Yeah. I'm at the top of that chute. Do you hear that? Uh, yeah. Hear Julie coming through the chute? All right. Well, that's the top of the mine. So back down I go. It's going to be a little treacherous getting down here. Stuff's going to want to slide. Here he comes. Huh? There you are. <laughs> Sorry about the dust. Well, it's unavoidable. Oh boy. Slide on down. That's all right. Don't go that way. What? Don't go. Come, don't come this way. Oh, that's not the right no, way. No, you gotta go behind you. And then I'll bring him out here. There Let's he get is. Get out of here with all this dust. Yeah. Okay. Sorry about all that dust. That's okay. It's forgivable. Yeah, it's pretty rough up there getting around. Tom's wearing shorts today. It's really hot. because yeah, it's 85 degrees out. We had a five mile hike to get here. <laughs> We're just about back down to where that rope was. You wanted to be a mine explorer. <laughs> Dusty, dusty work. It's fun though. Alright, better go catch up with him. Here she comes. It's kind of a tight little place to explore here. You're gonna... Oh, god dang it. Good <laughs> thing you wear a helmet. Here's your rope. How many times do you whack your head? <laughs> Three times. Three times in ten feet? Yeah. You may want to turn around now the way you came up. I am. Hang on tight. It's just a funky little knot they got up here. Mm -hmm. Under an old stall with a bunch of a bunch of fractured rock around it, but Well let's hope it hangs on for another few minutes here. Yeah, it's probably held for a hundred years. It's gonna make it another few minutes. All right, good job. Here's this stuff again. Say goodbye to that. Look at the bucket of nails. Look at the galvanized most of them. A little bit of everything in there. And the big rubber hose. I'll be an air hose the way it looks. This is a. Uh, this is still full. This is grease. Uh, 
All right, that's the way we explored earlier. This is the way out. And that's where we're going. Get some fresh air. Fun mine. Yeah, yeah very interesting. Somebody else can go find that whiskey bottle, the tobacco can, the ceramic jug. What are those called? Flask? No. Crock. No. Crock. Cro a crock, yeah. And it's all right here. There's the entrance. It's not a real big mine. We like it though. It's just the right size. <laughs> One last bump for your road. Wow. Here we go, out we go. Wow, fresh air is always fun at the Ooh. end of an explorer. Ooh, hot though. Ooh. It's on a time. It's kind of cloudy. It almost sounds like, feels like it's going to rain. They use dynamite boxes for wedging on this cribbing area. So we got to make our way down. We're going to try to take a new way down and go look at the. Um, there's a loading facility at the bottom of this. Did I tell you this over here? There's a loading facility down there towards where we have to go. So we'll try and get down that way. bottom of that chute was which was at the end of the uh, upper level there where the railway was and the lower ore bin was down that way which is what we're trying to get down to well I'm getting over near that lower bin from this mine here's a wire rope or a cable it's possible there was a ground tram or even an aerial tram. I'm not sure which to haul ore from the top up there over to this structure here, whatever this is. It actually looks like a little a couple little tram buckets there, doesn't it? Homemade ones out of a barrel. So here's this platform. No doubt it was a tram because here is one of the homemade buckets. How cool is that? Would have had a pulley up here or two. They had a big bolt going through this. Oh, there's a pulley on there too. That's kind of weird. There's another one down here. Yeah, it looks like a road right here that we can take. There's another tram bucket down here too. Yeah, Julie found a piece of enamel wear. Like oh yeah, there's one of the towers right there. It's down. Here's another one of the buckets. Anyway, homemade tram buckets. This would have had a pulley up here also. And this was the tower it looks like.